uh, the Dina. Uh, now, this uh, high-powered political group, an American political group, must be said, has said that Washington should seek Russia's close cooperation about sticky issues, such as that U.S. planned missile shield in Europe. Also talk of a, a new look at that AMD plan. A lot of talk here. Is it likely to lead to action, then? Well, a new look is something that Barack Obama himself has actually been deliberating for quite a while, even before he stepped into the White House. Throughout his campaign, we heard Barack Obama say, look, I'm only going to support this shield or other defense, uh, you know, uh, projects if they prove to be workable. But now we have this report by the USA Today, which says that independent reports have come out and said that this whole entire system could actually fail. And then to add fuel to the fire, the Pentagon also confirming that some tests have already failed. But look, nevertheless, this shield is so expensive to maintain billions of dollars spent in this area. And get this, the U.S. government since 1985 has spent a staggering $144 billion just on U.S. missile defense alone. Now, Barack Obama, of course, inherited this massive economic crisis, so he really has to weigh his options. Does he want to spend so much money abroad when so many Americans are suffering Zero. here at home? So this new look could be a reconsideration of priorities and whether or not to keep maintaining this defense shield in the first place. Well, we're still waiting to hear uh, what will happen with that then. Indeed, what will be decided, but for now it is still one of the existing differences, isn't it? Uh, despite that, are we seeing a general fall in relations between Russia and the U.S. since the end of the Bush era? Well, it's interesting because uh, this particular issue is the source, of course, of much tension between the United States and between Russia. Russia, of course, strongly objects this plan. But a few weeks ago, President Obama actually sent President Medvedev a letter saying, look, we'll rethink this whole uh, missile system if you agree to cooperate with us on Iran, to agree to try to halt Iranian nuclear ambitions and Iran's nuclear program. Now, like you said, uh, relations between Russia and and the United States were discussed by a special panel which consisted of former American diplomats and members of Congress. My colleague Alona Minkowski was there and she brings us this report. The U.S. is taking steps to reach out to Russia. So say two veteran U.S. politicians. Vietnam veteran Chuck Hagel and former presidential candidate Gary Hart have pushed aside their differences to ease international tensions. We should define our relationship based on common interests, whether we're talking about proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Western Europe, natural gas, energy, uh, oil, the economy. Uh, we're all now part of this global community. They recently flew to Moscow to meet with President Medvedev with ideas on moving forward. The reception was very positive. Uh, the leaders of the Russian government understand the purpose of the commission and what we are trying to do to build a base of support, not only in policy circles, but in the public at large, to improve the relationship. That relationship had reached a freezing point during the Bush administration. Now Obama is promising to push the reset button on affairs. One of the stumbling blocks to a new start has been U.S. plans to set up anti-ballistic missile defense systems in Europe. We should look for a system to protect ourselves and Russia that is that both countries agree on. So we didn't come out totally against missile defense, but we also strongly suggested that there were better ways to solve this problem. The G20 summit in April will provide the first meeting grounds for Obama and Medvedev. These days, the economy and security issues have become shared problems to work through. We have big problems in the world, and we're in a deep hole. We can get out if we're wise enough. While a U.S. commission to Russia may have good intentions, it will ultimately be up to Obama and his team to pave the way by acting on policy. Alona Minkowski, RT. Washington, D.C. So there you have the commission showing concern about the deterioration of relation, relations, but saying, look, there are common interests where the United States and where Russia could work together. It will be interesting to see where that all leads, Kevin. And as ever, across it from our Washington studio, Dina Gusowski there. Thanks for bringing us up to date this hour.